Well, welcome back to Tagra for the Junior Regionals 2022. This is the 14 boys, the Hornets taking on the Sydney Mets. And the Sydney Mets with the ball at present. And they've left that one behind with a couple of plays still left in the set. So the Hornets looking to post first points here with their first possession of the ball. Heading close to that interchange area, of course, a crucial component of touch football, getting your transitions right. But an equally crucial component is playing the ball correctly. And at the moment, neither side has been able to do exactly that. We're yet to see a complete set. We'll hop back on the mark here for the Sydney Mets. That one played to Kilby. Who offers it away, the West Junior. Great touch coming in there from Bisaka. Doyleson Jr. And there is a whole lot of Doyleson players in this Hornets outfit. In the purple. Driving forward now. Good metres on offer as well. Quick interchange of passing. Good hands in the wet too. It has been raining for most of the morning out here at Tugra. Touch coming across from Ekapati. And that will be a change over here against the Mets. Of course, 25-minute matches. The sides changing directions after a try is scored. No half-time, no quarter time. 25 minutes of straight touch footballing action. It's a good little transition here as well. Lidbury drives forward on that occasion. Now Ryan away with the ball. Quick dump off into the in goal. Still numbers in motion. The long ball coming there. Oh, good touch in the end. It was McIntyre who prevented that try from being scored. They will get another set here, though. But it was a play he had to make. Good defence from the Balmain junior, Lachlan McIntyre. Ryan dumps it off. Oh, that one could have been... Well, to have not been played correctly on the mark. And there was half a thought about it as well from the referee, but he'll stick with it here and allow Thomas Ryan to play it. Now away to Little. Little once more, shoveling it on. Coming out now to Lidbury, but it's been left behind. So neither side able to... breach that defensive line at this point and trouble the scoring sheet. Oh, that one could have been a bit of a problem for just a moment there for Chloe. But he did well to reel it in. Got them back pedaling here. The big dummy comes. Oh, and the flick pass. It's superb stuff, but just by the ankle, a touch comes late from the Hornets. And in fact, they'll say the pass occurred after a touch was completed. Interesting call on that occasion, but pretty special stuff, though, from Azzy. Nonetheless, short side towards the substitutions box and a great transition here as well for the Hornets. Now that looked to be interference from my call and yes they will get another set of six here. So just coming back through the play of the ball and preventing the Hornets from picking up cleanly. Driving forward now is Butler. Quick play from him. And back now to Ellsley. Butler goes long. Pressure up quickly and another set to flow here for the Hornets. So the Mets providing plenty of opportunities early on. Butler to touch that one and he's just inviting the defence out to him so they can try and launch an attack the next play. Butler off the right foot, diving cleanly and poof, he pops the pin on the grenade and tosses it all the way to halfway. That's a Brian Fletcher type celebration. And you've got to love that one. Chase Butler gets first try of the match. So the Hornets take an early lead here. And the Mets. We'll drive forward now. Cool conditions here as well at Tagra. So you do feel for the boys. Oh, that's been left behind for mine just at the death. Yes, a try gone begging. 
And so I was saying, got a feel for some of the players out there. It is very, very cool since that storm activity came across. And we've got singlets out there, so hopefully they're getting a little bit warmed up with all that running out there. And the Mets will get a second shot at it here, having just bombed that try. The cutout ball comes. Can't wait to see the mullet get into action with Lachlan McIntyre. Used to be a sharp, short hair cut meant pace. Now with the likes of Pappenhausen, it is all about the mullet. Samson and Goliath style. So the touch coming there and back out to the seven metre mark. As he waiting, gets the touch, last play now. As he with the long pass, but it's gone almost more forward than has sideways. And Tom Brady would have enjoyed that one, but not unfortunately would the coach, David Twomey. So Maitland. Hornets coming away with it. Butler pushing four. That's a good run from him. Picks up 15 pretty easy metres. And then straight into the substitution area. To get a good transition there. Potentially a forceful touch from behind. We'll play on for now, though. Cut out ball comes. Great right foot step. But pressure back on the inside from Graham Withel. Prevents a try there to Harry Lidbury. Really good start here from the Hornets. And this defensive set also a very strong one from them. Really struggling to get away with anything at the moment. Uh, the Mets. Meters are hard to come by. And you can see there just with how their transition is unfolding. Really struggling in the set. This will be the last and they've gone barely anywhere. They need to promote this footy. That's a nice pass over the top. If they can get away quickly, they've opened up something here. So a pretty good finish in the end from the Mets. Overall, a great defensive set, though, from the Hornets. But still, 20 to 25 metres picked up at the death there. Very important that the Mets were able to do so. Lidbury picking up lots of metres there. Once again, in pretty easy fashion. They're certainly winning the field position battle at the moment, are the Hornets. Bissica, he wanted to get away with it, but... Another error in the play, the ball. We'll just take the pressure off the Mets here. So up towards halfway come the Mets now. Nice little strike to Umpacurt. Still driving four. This will be the last, though, however, not played on the mark. We've seen a fair few of those from the Mets to start this match. Once more, it will invite the Hornets with a chance to hop up over halfway and really put some sort of play on here. Lidbury off the right foot. Good metres from him. Decides now to take the touch with the reinforcements arriving. Butler shifts it on to Elsley. He's dictating terms quite nicely at the moment. Butler operating through that central passage. Into the in-goal area. Dumming and tiptoeing along the sideline beautifully. Shadowed there in the end, though, from McIntyre. It's not the first time either. It's the second try he's prevented just with smart defensive play in the in-goal area. The touch comes up. As he now driving forward. Butler is there to meet him. Couple of plays left in this set. And the transition is just not quite smooth at the moment for the Mets. The big step came, but Butler was equal to it. And he got the touch pretty quickly there in the end. A little bubble from Lidbury. And yes, that one has actually touched the defence in the process. So referees right onto it. The Hornets still leading here in a tight fixture. One try to nil, and that one coming through Chase Butler, the number 40, who's been very strong both sides of the ball. There he is making a touch now. Kilby waiting for it. An eternity, it would appear. And, of course, the defensive line has to come out. They can't simply sit on their heels. A great dive there, too. 
Just getting the touch in the end, though, once more was Chase Butler. Graham Withall. Gets the touch from Butler, and that one just coming off the knees in the end of Mascaranis. But once more, they'll get another opportunity here, the Sydney Mets. The Hornets happy to give away chance after chance, though. They back themselves defensively as Butler makes the touch. Graham Withel once more. Then dumping it off to Azzy. Azzy shifting on here to Mascaranis. Azzy drops it off. Graham Withel back on the inside. I don't think there's a touch on this occasion. And Mascaranis. He dives in and we have a level ball game. One try apiece. And plenty of time on the clock here. This one is shaping up quite quite nicely. Twenty five minute matches, around about eleven minutes gone in this one. Of course the Clock on your screen is merely a guide. The official timepiece is being kept by New South Wales Touch Football. And we hope you are enjoying the coverage. New South Wales Touch always do a great job with ensuring that as many matches can be screened straight into that phone of yours, into the living room, the computer, wherever you might be watching from. And for that matter, let us know where you are watching it from, who you're barracking for. And uh, if there's any relation to any of the players out there, I know there's a lot of support coming from the likes of our grandparents and aunties and uncles. It's the parents doing the hard yards out here today, though, making sure the kids are getting onto the field. Right now, of course, it is the Mets and the Hornets and the under-14s boys are at our central field here as Azzy steps off the right foot a couple of times before going to ground. Graham Withall. Has them backpedalling. Last play now. Azzy into the in goal. Dropping it back on the inside. And oh, what a comeback this is from the Mets. Kingston Graham Withall gets himself on the board. And they take the lead. It was a slow start, but they really are building steam now, the Sydney Mets. Tries to Mascaranis and Graham Withall, two of the Penrith boys in this side. The Hornets with a very flat pass there to Butler. I thought that might have been Ford. And yes, ruled as such. Butler was quite literally standing in front of him. So insult to injury there for the Hornets. The chance to potentially strike back is squandered pretty much immediately. And a really nice roll on here too. This is Fenene. And now with... Antonopoulos, who's caught. Back to Antonopoulos now. Once more waiting, inviting Butler and Co. to come out and meet him. Flat pass put through, and I don't think there's a touch either. That's a beautiful play, and that's something you see directly from the coach's playbook in the NRL. Playing flat and short at the line, steaming onto a gap. Brings up try number three for the Sydney Mets. So they've come alive here all of a sudden. And for Nene, that's the man who's got himself on the board, the number 22. Big try for Billy. So the Hornets now with plenty of work to do. Azzy coming up with the touch. The dummy goes through and it's fooled absolutely everybody. And a little celebration coming out as well there from Kai Hodges, who honestly hasn't seen much of the ball. But he's now seen plenty of the try line. And from seemingly nothing there, he's reduced the deficit. The Mets lead 3-2. Around about 10 metres, or 10 minutes, should I say, left in this match here. And a very big hello to Leper and Billy Soliola. Giving a bit of a shout-out to Billy Fernandez, who of course just scored that fantastic try for the City Mets. This is Graham Withall. 
pushing forward. Last play now for the Mets. Graham Withall off to Azzy. Azzy operating down a short side. The big dummy comes, but well read in the end from Tulson McCulloch. McCulloch shifts it off here to Carlson. Now come further wide off the right foot. That's a nice little strike dump play there. Space down the sideline. Oh, he's got plenty of pace as well, but a good touch in the end coming across from Chloe. But El Curdy certainly showed a clean pair of heels. Lidbury back on the field. Good transition too. This is Knowles now. Last play here for the Hornets. Nowhere to go on this open side. They'll quickly try and shift it once more. Claiming of a touch in terms of the ball being played at, but instead, as you can see, clutching the hand there is Owen Knowles. That touch was instead directly on the fingertips. So the Mets survive once more. Three two. Sydney still ahead over there. Further north rivals. Last play now as Azzy is caught. And the next match coming your way will be the 18s girls, the Northern Eagles, taking on the Sydney Mets. It's an incorrect play. The ball comes, which gives another opportunity here for the Hornets. Approximately nine minutes on the clock. Of course, the clock on your screen is just a guide. We have an official timekeeper here at Tugra. And the Hornets... A little bit of confusion during that interchange there. The transition not quite as clean as they would have liked. Butler now driving forward. Threatened to step off the left. Straighten up and now they'll invite the defence to come out. Still a couple of plays left here. Dummies all over the place. It looks like a baby emporium at the moment. Someone bring out the pram as well. Butler to touch. Get us back underway. Butler off the right foot, floating a ball back on the inside. They'll still get use of the ball here, though, the Hornets. Butler operating short, and a nice little step, too, from Elsley. We'll tie this one up. The Maitland Jr. goes in, and three tries apiece. A beautifully positioned ball game now. Roughly eight on the clock. This is the tightest match we've seen so far on our main field for today here at Tugra. Sydney Scorpions running out 4-1 victors in the 18s boys competition. And the Sydney Mets 3-0 over the ACT Raiders and the 14s girls. Offside there on that occasion though, the Hornets. Means the Mets will get another set to play with in a very advanced position. James Riley with the ball now. The little number eight, Balmain Jr. And don't for one second think that that small stature means he hasn't got the moves. He's very agile on his feet. For Nene, he's caught on this occasion. Antonopoulos, waiting an age. He wants the defence to come to him before they launch another attack. For Nene, great ball over the top. And the width is kept beautifully from Lachlan, Lachlan McIntyre. He scored a number of tries. Throughout the season for Balmain, he certainly knows his way to the try line. He's continued that form here at the Junior Regionals. And also he's been brilliant on the other side of the ball as well. It's been at least two tries that he's put a stop to simply by great way of shadowing some of his opposition attackers. 4-3, the Mets lead. Hornets, though, with a chance to strike right back. The touch coming in there from Rhea Penner, Dunn. The 11 for... Sydney Mets. Last play now here for the Hornets. Switching the emphasis. Long ball over the top and it's almost a carbon copy of the McIntyre try. And four tries apiece. In fact, no. 
Pass has gone forward. So the Mets just surviving on that occasion. Thought we had a level ball game. Ruapana Dunn pushing forward and now Graham Withel is called back to play it on the mark. Touch coming in from Thomas Ryan. So they shift from right to left. Last play now though. Azzy with ball in hand. Players in motion. Running out of space here though is McIntyre and the touch comes in. They manned up well. El Curdy. And a good run here as well from Taj Little. Lidbury off the left foot, feigning that he had incurred a touch and then picked up another five metres. Clever play from Lidbury. Knowles back here to Hodges. Oh, just half an opportunity presented itself, but the ball instead ends up in the hands of Azzy. The Mets with some good defence. In this late stage, it's under a 14s boys fixture. Now uh, you will have Nathan joining you for commentary quite shortly as well. The next match coming your way. Should be an absolute cracker in the 18 girls as the Mets leave that one behind. It will be the Northern Eagles taking on the Sydney Mets. Of course, the Northern Eagles representing largely the mid-north coast and further up. A lot of Port Macquarie and Coffs Harbour players featured in that side. As that one is left behind from the Hornets. Frustration as well coming out from the Hornets coach Tom Taylor. Suggesting those are some crucial errors that they simply can't be making. A forceful touch incurred there as well. And there we go once more. Taylor just screaming out, where is our discipline, boys? Antonopoulos caught there, centre field. Still quite a few plays left in the set, though, here for the City Mets. And once more, they'll wait for this one. Graham Withel off the right foot. Oh, found half a gap and dived through it. Did the touch get there in time from Butler? Yes, it did. It was a great jinking run. Graham Withel, such an elusive customer. Antonopoulos. Graham Withel offers it off. A set play there. Didn't manage to confuse the Hornets, but they will manage to get another set of six. Graham Withel. Once more, as he's been more than fond to do. Just invite the defence out towards him. Of course, if you need to touch footy, they must come off that try line. They have to engage... The opposition attack, the defensive line. If they don't, another set is set to follow. And if any repeats occur, there's the potential for players to be sent to the bin. Jamming in on Fenene there. Good touch. Antonopoulos, the little wrap around here with Graham Withel. Antonopoulos once more, last play, Graham Withel. Antonopoulos leaves it behind. If they can get the quick play here, they've got them backpedaling already. The Hornets do a pretty good job of exactly that. Now heading centre field. Bit of a roll on there. That looked forward for all money there to chase Butler. Play on for now, though. McCulloch. Good metres. And the interchange is coming on quite nicely. Big contact there. The flick pass came. And they'll suggest the touch was first and thus a changeover to occur. Graham Withel drives forward, heading towards that interchange box. Very little time on the clock here, roughly a minute from our guide. The Hornets need to score on the next play to try and tie this one up. The Mets can finish it off here, though, as he drives forward. Play on for now. The flick pass comes, but the ball was released after the touch. This is it here for the Hornets. Siren is set to sound. They need to launch a raid. Operating down the short side. McIntyre drawn in, but he covers well. Back onto the mark goes El Curdy. There can't be much time. In fact, there it is. The last touch comes. They'll get one more play. They must keep it alive at all costs. 
Ekapati knows it. He's doing very well to evade the defence. Play on and kept alive here. Still an opportunity. McIntyre drawn in, but he does enough on El Curdy and gets them over the sideline. The Sydney Mets. It might only be a group match, but they finish that in the closing moments like it's a semi-final. Great defence, and they will run out four tries to three winners. Hope you enjoy that coverage. That'll do me for today. However, Nathan will be with you in just a moment for the 18 girls competition. The Northern Eagles will take on the Sydney Mets at 12 sharp, which is in just a few minutes. Certainly shaping up to be a fantastic day here at the Sydney Regionals. I should have said the Junior Regionals, of course, between the Sydney Mets running out this one, 4-3 over the Hornets.